Hello guys, welcome back to the channel. I hope you all are doing extremely fine. My name is Prince and you are watching the Tech Stream. In this video, I am going to review a very popular Android 13 custom ROM which goes by the name of Riceroid for the OnePlus 8 series devices. So without wasting any more time, let's get started. I'll start with the technical details. The ROM is based on Android 13 and the specific version of Riceroid is 13.0 with an Android security patch of 5th Feb 2023. Now let's dive into features and performance of this ROM. First and foremost, the Riceroid ROM is super fast out of the box. From the moment you turn on your device, you can feel how snappy and responsive it is. All the basic functionality such as Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, calling work great without any hiccups. Another great aspect of this ROM is that it has no bloatware, which means you will not find a lot of pre-installed apps. The ROM only comes with less than 14 essential apps, which makes it easier for users to add apps that they need and use on a daily basis. Finally, let's talk about the launcher. With Ricetroid, you get the Sushi launcher, which is better than stock pixel launcher and offers a good amount of customer customization options. You can personalize your home screen with custom icons, different grids and even customize the app drawer to your liking. Overall, Riceroid provides an excellent user experience with its fast performance, essential apps and customizable launcher. Moving on to benchmark scores, the Riceroid ROM performs really well in terms of benchmarks. It has single score score of 1189 and a multi-core score of 3314, which is better than the scores of Oxygenos 13, which is somewhere around 1000 in single core and 3000 in multi-core. You can feel the performance improvement while performing day-to-day -day tasks and playing heavy games. Moving on to the gaming performance of this ROM, it provides full 90 FPS in BGMI without any issues, which is a significant advantage for gamers. During my testing, I did not face any lags or frame drops, which makes the overall gaming experience very smooth. Additionally, the ROM also has a basic gaming mode, which helps in enhancing the gaming experience by optimizing the device for gaming. And if you want a more detailed gaming review of this ROM, feel free to let me know in the comments below. The best thing about this ROM is that it comes with Oxygenos camera and gallery are pre-installed. All the modes of Oxygenos camera work flawlessly, including the portrait, night and macro modes. The image quality is also on par with Oxygenos 13 with sharp and vibrant colors. We must commend the developer for including Oxygenos camera and gallery app as it significantly enhances the user experience. Moving on, Ricetroid ROM has passed the safety net test which means the user can easily use the payment apps without any issues. And moreover, the widewide status is also L1 which ensures that the device can stream HD content on Netflix and other streaming sites without any issues. Moving on to battery life, if this ROM is exceptional as it can easily last 5 to 6 hours on normal day to day usage and even with heavy gaming you can expect to get a screen on time of 4 to 5 hours. The charging speed is also impressive as it only takes around 40 minutes to go from 1% to 100%. This means that you won't have to wait for long hours to get your device fully charged. Talking about the features, the ROM is packed with an array of features that cater to almost all user needs. These features can be found in a dedicated section in device settings. Going through each one of them may take time so here is a quick montage to showcase the many features available. From customization options to advanced settings, this ROM offers an abundance of features that can be tailored to each user's preferences. With so many features, it's safe to say that it may take you hours to go through and configure all the settings to your liking. If we talk about the bugs on this ROM, the ROM seems to have no major issues or bugs and I did not encounter any significant problems while using this ROM. That being said, I think this ROM is a great choice for anyone looking for a feature-packed, stable custom ROM experience without any major problems or issues to worry about. Overall, the developer has done an excellent job in creating a reliable custom ROM that delivers a seamless user experience without any significant bugs or problems. That's all for this video. I'll make a lot of ROM reviews and I'll be trying other Android 13 ROMs. Subscribe to the channel so you don't miss those videos. Thank you for watching.